All right, so you got a question asking how the ADCL calibrates the chambers that you send them, specifically what equipment is used and how does NIST calibrate ADCL's chambers? So you are sending your chambers to ADCL, so it's important to know what they're doing just so you have a, an idea of what the process is and ultimately how can you feel safe that the calibration factor they give you is accurate and that obviously is going to determine how you adjust your output and calibrate your linear accelerator. So ADCL, the Accredited Dosimetry Calibration Laboratory, they use the replacement technique. So that, that's a good method to mention if you get a question like this. And ultimately what that is, that will give them the absorbed dose to water calibration factor and a NIST calibrated ADCL chamber is placed in a 50 by 50 water phantom at 5 cm depth. This is used to measure the absorbed dose to water rate. Then this chamber is replaced by your chamber and a calibration factor is determined in gray per coulomb. So ultimately they, how can I write this? They use a, a NIST, well, so it's an ADCL chamber that's been calibrated by NIST. They know because they know what the dose there is. They have their calibration factor. They then replace this with your chamber. And then because they already know the true dose in the water at 5 cm depth, they get your reading and can determine a, a calibration factor. And the and again, that is in gray per coulomb. So what equipment is used? So of course they have, they have a water tank and that is at least 50 by 50 cm squared. Uh, they've got a NIST chamber, or at least I should say a NIST calibrated chamber, not one directly from NIST. They have a cobalt 60 source, that's important to know, a PMMA sleeve of one millimeter max thickness if it's not waterproof. Most of the chambers nowadays I know are waterproof, but in case you don't have one, you need a sleeve to make it so. So now how does NIST calibrate ADCL's chamber? So first thing, they use cobalt 60 to find the absorbed dose to water using a calorimeter. So calorimeter, and it'd be good to know how calorimeters work too. Maybe in one of these videos, I'll eventually get to it, but they use cobalt 60 with that calorimeter to get dose. And then a recombination factor is used to take into account the ionic recombination for both the NIST and ADCL procedures. So that is how, and ultimately, so they know the dose and then they can find what ADCL's chamber is getting and come up with their factor as well. So a quick but important topic. If you have any questions, just let me know. Best of luck studying and we'll see you in the next one.